Reefers, I'm Daniel from Coralos and today is Tip Tuesday. And today I want to talk about dosing. If you've had your aquarium for a while, your collection of corals is starting to grow, or you have tons of coral and algae covering your rock work, you may have started to think about or you already are dosing. And I just want to let you know that when you are dosing, sometimes depending on if it's trace elements and it's something for the coral you think, hey this is really important maybe I should put it in the tank, the corals are going to absorb it more and give them a little bit longer uh, a time to absorb those nutrients. But sometimes, depending on what you're dosing, those can actually hurt or burn the coral's tissue. So you have to know what you're feeding it or know what you're adding to the tank. May it be alkalinity, that's something, depending on what the concentration is of the fluid that you're adding, you do not want to add a strong solution to your tank where it could come in contact with your coral's tissue. So I just wanted to reiterate the fact that you guys, if you don't have a sump and you are dosing, I know they recommend a high flow area. If you can't put it in the water column or somewhere where the pump can suck it up and kind of mix it with some sea water, some of your water, um, maybe during a water change you mix it in, something like that. So I just wanted to let you know that concentrations of certain items can burn corals tissues, even if they are good, like a vitamin um, mix. I, one time I, now I just recognize this with my SPS corals, and not with any of my others, but I was feeding a trace element blend of nutrients, and I was directly putting it on the corals, and it started to bleach them out. And I couldn't figure out what was going on or what could have possibly done this to the corals, and I think it was the strong concentration. So I am gonna do a test of this later on in another episode, and I will see as we're going through our science edition, um, maybe I will add a ton of vitamins and see when they start to affect the coral's tissue, when helpful becomes harmful. So more to come. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefings. Please let me know in the comments section below any history or experiences you've had with a situation like this with dosing directly in your tank. I appreciate your feedback.